negative patterns and negative cycles it comes and then it comes again it comes and then it comes again i'm seeing at least 25 people father i don't know where they are these spirits that cause repetition of negative patterns at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one my god two three shout jesus be free be free be free negative patterns tying your family tying individuals bringing them to states where they recycle pain where they recycle shame where they recycle negative conditions be free Hallelujah. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered, nothing about you can be seen. Makatosh Kadia, Embrekete Seketa, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear that veil right now. hear me where your physical father cost you i stand by priesthood to bless you anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you i stand by the privilege of the apostolic call i reverse that statement 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 anyone who said it will not be well with you in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I veto that statement and I cancel it limitations that came from your biological father biological mother or your physical territory I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I break you from it now help them please I break you from it now I break you from it now I break you from it now Every spirit that makes easy things difficult you saw this with your father you saw this with your mother you saw this with your siblings sincerely you have not been able to break through in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare in the name of Jesus I push you to the next season of destiny Help that man, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything around you to blow some. It says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine for a forest. May that anointing rest upon you now. Grace for signs and wonders. Supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised christ from the dead that door is open now that door is open now open for you and your children open for you and your wife open for you and your husband open for you and everyone connected to you in the name of Jesus number two Genesis 21 verse 6 this is someone's prophetic word I'm praying now 21 verse 6 Genesis Genesis 21 verse 6 
And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. I decree and declare, let this be a season of laughter for you. Let this be a season of laughter for you. In the name of Jesus, laughter in the morning, laughter in the afternoon, laughter in the evening, laughter in the night. In the name of Jesus, you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up. In the name of Jesus. And that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And when they opened it, they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded. Anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season, I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you. Wake them and cause them to remember you. Wake them and cause them to remember you. In the name of Jesus. When Nehemiah began to build the temple, the wall of Jerusalem, the Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project. One, Sambalat. Two, Tobias. I pray for you. Anyone spying on your progress and working with men and spirits to see that you don't advance, to see that the promotion does not come, to see that the rest does not come, I decree and declare they are banished from your life forever. Banished from your life forever. You see, let me tell you, there are certain men in the Bible who are not just men. When you hear their names, they speak of spirits. Absalom, Sambalat, Tobias. Are we together? You hear of all these names. These are not names Haman. You see that now. These are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them. Absalom, for instance, this guy began to gain popularity over a, a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor, the, the, the advisor of David. Absalom, I'm praying for you. Any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing, may they never get to the ears of your helpers. If you are a king here and there is any Haman roaming around your palace, even if he's helping you for now, may God expose them. May God expose them. For the safety of your kingdom, may God expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Even though it later worked out for our redemption, but when... That, that should be Pontius Pilate or Herod, one of them, wanting to crucify Jesus. The wife got up and said, I had a dream. This man is innocent. Don't touch him. Even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation, but let me pray for you. Any wrong step you are about to make, whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny-destroying mistakes, I pray may God bring them speedily. May they come before the damage happens. I say it again. May they arrive before any damage happens. In the name of Jesus. Help will never come too late for you. Help will never come too late for you. Now I pray for you. The kind of honor you have not seen from January till now, May. If you have the faith to believe it. I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you. In this month of July beginning, may God surprise you. Kings will honor you. Nobles will honor you. Captains of industry will honor you. The great will call you great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again. This night as you go to sleep. Dreams that you've not had before. Visions of things you've not seen before. 
in the name of Jesus, the blueprint, the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life, may it be downloaded to your spirit man. Downloaded to your spirit man. Concerning ministry, concerning business, concerning family, concerning your career, the strategy for the next season, receive it in the name of Jesus. Do you believe what you're receiving? Let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection. Are we together? Our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life. Any journey you would take that will not allow you to return home, I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again. Any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment. We release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved from the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. I declare none shall come to your dwelling. My final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life. That means your prayer life. That means your word study life. That means your passion for the things of God. That means your character. I pray for you, by all means, be as spiritual as you should be. That means be as prayerful as you should be. As word compliant as you should be. As transformed as you should be. Men and women of character by the Spirit. Doing exploits for the kingdom. Everything that represents slumber, spiritual laziness, laxity, death of your prayer life, your communion with God, I declare be delivered from it now. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. We bless you, O oh God. We give you praise. We honor you. Thank you for your good hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hope has been so deferred it's as if you cannot see God's faithfulness again. The Lord is asking me to speak to you, even now. He said, if you had come, your brother would not have died. He says, but even now, even now, even now, even now. I don't know who God is speaking to. You've been disappointed in circles, in series. But even now, I am still faithful. Take it as a prophetic word. God is telling someone even now concerning your business even now concerning your marriage even now concerning your job even now concerning ministry integrity still pays godliness still pays righteousness still pays do not think you gave yourself cheaply to life for standing on God's side even now I pray for every weary heart because you see there are people who are not sick physically but their spirits are broken and the bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones trouble can start from your spirit your mind and affect you physically you go to the hospital and no machine can diagnose you but you are dying i pray for such people be healed right now be healed from pain be healed from hurt be healed from disappointments I minister that healing to you by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Whilst you are seated, stretch your hands towards this request. Stretch your hands. And I want you to begin to pray in one minute. Father, this is a manifestation. A token representing my desire if you are here to drop your request please make it fast i'm about to pray I'm praying for someone 
there are not many times this song has come to my spirit but now the Lord is putting it in my spirit and I want you to listen to it it's not a special number hear me we serve a prayer answering God not just a prayer hearing God I decree and declare bowing my knees over these requests every request here represented and the many that have been sent online the many that are on someone's table probably on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ let there be speedy answers shout like you're a believer speedy answers in the name of Jesus Christ speedy answers in the name of Jesus therefore I declare unto you that the Egyptians you see today I stand upon this request prophetically the Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain but the children die leaving the parents you see a family full of old people with no young man to help them he said I write these things to you fathers I write these things to you young men I write these things to you children this is what makes a complete generation there must be elders there must be young men there must be children no generation is safe without elders no generation is safe without young men no generation is safe without children when Satan wants to suspend continuity he looks for one of these three if he kills the elders the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel when he kills a young man, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny name of jesus whatever has silenced your influence so that your voice will not be heard i call upon the god of my covenant may you be heard from today may you be heard from today let the ends of the earth hear you let the ends of the earth hear you my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard John said I am the voice of one crying he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice I came by the road of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that silence comes to an end everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of God the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting 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 what you have been looking for I command it to start looking for you. 
ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may he start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life. Attacking your word study life. Attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things. It dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers. Like Ahasuerus. And make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everyone who is a destiny helper in this season, may my God bring them to you. May my God bring them to you opportunities to your life bring resources to your life in the name of Jesus very powerful scripture keep it there we're praying 27 20 and Isaac said unto his son how is it that you found the answer to that business problem quickly how is it that you found the strategy quickly while others are looking for it he said it is because God brought it to me. He's called Ebenezer. God can help men. That what men are looking for, God can carry it and bring it to a man. Bring it to a ministry. Bring it to a church. Is this someone's testimony? Again, I'm praying for you. What others are looking for. Because you have chosen to love him and to serve him and to live for him. My God, through this prophetic word, is bringing the things others are looking for to you. And Samuel told Saul, on your way back, you will see three men, each holding loaves of bread. They will salute you and they will give it to you. He says, of them, receive it. Of them, receive it from their hands. They will salute you and they will give the two loaves of bread when they give you receive it when they held it from their houses they didn't know that it's not their own there are many people holding things that are not their own it's prophecy they are holding it for the time when god will bring it to you they are holding business ideas holding resources holding lands holding opportunities i'm praying for you that which is yours in prophecy in the name of Jesus, I gravitate it, let it enter your hand. 
let it enter your hand in this season let it enter your hand hallelujah listen I've had the honor of receiving great gifts from people people have been kind and thoughtful enough to give me gifts at various points in my life and sometimes people travel from the farthest end of the globe and hold these precious gifts and when they bring it to me I'm grateful for receiving it but then I wonder that at the point they were getting those gifts and they traveled from the farthest ends of the earth it was me they had in their mind some of them as they paid extra luggages and carried those gifts it was not for themselves the magi carried gifts and went all the way you would think they are going all the way was to be for themselves they are going all the way was not for themselves it was for jesus there are people who have been mandated to carry gifts all kinds of helps for your destiny my assignment is to be a prophetic midwife to connect them to you i'm praying for you again anyone bearing gifts gifts of help gifts of wisdom gifts of access gifts of ideas meant for you and your destiny and in the name of jesus you have not been able to meet together i declare that connection happens in this season that prophetic divine connection happens in this season it happens in this season in the name of Jesus Christ now right where you are I want you to open your mouth open your mouth in the next two minutes everything you came here trusting God to do for you please don't keep quiet you are before the God who answers all prayers. Open your mouth and I want you to begin to pray. Go ahead. Connecting across the globe, please pray. God is not a prayer hearing God alone. He's a prayer answering God. Someone open your mouth. The Bible says, Philippians 4 and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Someone pray, pray, let it be from the depth of your heart. Turn my morning to dancing. Someone pray. Turn my sorrow to joy. In the name of Jesus. I want you to receive this from the depth of your heart. Like fire from heaven. Right now. Upon us many who are hungry to receive. This grace that is higher than silver and gold I stretch my hands as God has granted the grace to bring this truth to you I speak to someone the grace that causes men to rise up and walk receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now, it right now. higher spiritual dimensions receive it right now Higher prophetic dimensions. Shapakatos kata. Ebratos kata. Receive it right now. The spirit of revelation at a higher dimension. Receive it right now. The grace for prayer and supplication. Receive it right now. I activate your prophetic encounters at a frequency you have never seen I speak to you spiritually rise up and walk financially rise up and walk in your career rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and walk rise up and run rise up and fly rise up and soar rise up and break limits rise up and break boundaries in the name of jesus rise up and do what has never been done rise up and surpass ordinary standards in the mighty name of jesus the spirit that comes into men and causes them to rise 
and to fly in destiny. Aya, may that grace rest upon you. May that unction rest upon you. May that grace in that anointing, let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. And everything keeping you down, in spite of the fact that Peter and John, God's vessels, are already within your vicinity, and yet there are things keeping you down. I don't care what they are. I crush them for your sake forever. I crush them for your sake forever. In the name of Jesus. And I declare over someone, we don't know how old that man was. We were not given the privilege to know how long his condition was. But one thing we know is that from a baby to an adult is at least 18 years. When that man was met, we do not see him carrying any semblance of a baby. The Bible will identify young men as young men, like the rich young ruler. But this man certainly was not a young man. So it is safe to assume that from birth until the time was at least 18 years. I don't know how long your challenges have lasted. There is a word I want to introduce to your life. Is the word immediately. The Bible says immediately. You would think the longevity of the trouble, the calamity would make his healing be gradual. But the Bible says immediately. Another word for immediately is speedy manifestation. That is my prophetic word over you. Let there be speedy manifestations. Let there be speedy manifestations. Speedy manifestations of prophecy. Speedy manifestations of grace. Of favor. Of lifting. Of new levels. Of a new chapter. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. For some of you, as you return, as you come for the miracle service, you are not just going to come to testify. You are going to come to draw those who will come and testify. Because I am not only standing as Peter and John. I am releasing upon you, now that you have arisen, in the name of Jesus, be Peter and John to someone else. I say it again, be Peter and John to a family. Be Peter and John to a business. Be Peter and John to a ministry. Agents of change, carriers of the anointing, conduits of spiritual possibilities. In the name of Jesus. That as you come for the miracle service next week, for some of you, whole families will follow you. Listen, the Bible says the man who was healed clung to Peter. He went wherever Peter went in the name of Jesus. By reason of this grace, I forbid you from coming to the house of God alone. Your impact in the life of families will be too significant for them to watch you go to church alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community. Subscribe 
and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.